Hello traders, FS Pepcolette here. Today is Friday, October 13th, and I'm going to be analyzing the Euro Yen starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame. So, on the monthly, Euro Yen, I mean, I still am looking at this as a one, two, three, which I really don't even see any proof that the three is over. I do think eventually it is going to go down, but the move down will be a crutch in wave four and a back up again for wave five, all the way back up to about the 165 area, which I still believe is going to be the most likely place for this to go, which is right at the 100% Fibonacci extension of wave A, projected out the bottom of an A, B, C of B. So let's head down to that weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, we've been sideways for a very long time now, for weeks now, as you can see. Because of this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 safe, I definitely was originally thinking that it would go down, take out this low before it actually went up. But the fact that we're in a wave 3, I mean, it does seem to me that it is kind of more likely that it will go up more, probably towards this 165 area to finish off this wave 3 before we make that big wave 4 and wave 5. So taking it down to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, I mean, I do see the possibility, especially looking at correlated pairs, that this is like a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 type save for like a wave A. This is actually a three-way pattern up for a wave B, and that this is now going down for a wave C, which probably would take out the lower wave 4 before it does continue the uptrend. To me, it does seem pretty likely that that could happen, but also, I mean, I really wouldn't be surprised at all, especially with the trader sentiment being so negative. Everybody's looking for sorts right now. I wouldn't be surprised at all if this move down was just a crutch into this move up and it just made a higher low and just kept on trending up. So let's head down to the 4 hour time frame. 4 hour time frame, I got my Fibonacci retracement measuring this whole move up right here. Like I said, if this move down is, or if this is the end of a wave B, then this will make a brand new downtrend, which would be a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of wave C. But I'm definitely watching this closely because if I see like a 3 way pattern to a Fib level, a Fibonacci retracement level, and then it'll pause the move up, then I would actually definitely exit any of my sorts and go long for the potential continuation of the uptrend. I think there is a pretty good chance that the trend could continue up and this move down is just going to go to a Fibonacci retracement level and keep on trending up. So taking it down to that one hour time frame. So I definitely am looking for sorts, but while I'm looking for sorts, I'm going to learn whether this makes an ABC shape three ways down to a fib level with an impulsive move up. If it does do that, then I will definitely exit my sorts and go long for the continuation of the uptrend. But while I'm looking for sorts, if I see it just bounce off fib levels and never break structure, then I'll know that we're in the one, two, three, four, five of wave C, like I was showing on the daily time frame, and I'll definitely just continue to go sort at the end of every pullback that I see for the continuation of this downtrend. So really we just need to pay attention to the shape that the market makes to see whether it makes a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of C or whether it makes an A, B, C and bounces off a fib level, breaks structure to the upside and continues the uptrend. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.